Hello YouTube, thought we'd do a quick video here. We're going to do the uh, stock settings on the duplexer that's inside the Redivis RT97 GMRS two-way radio repeater. Um, of course, this is just going to, we're going to do a thread count on the screws for tuning, but of course you'd want to take this in to get it tuned, fine-tuned uh with someone that has an analyzer but this should get you a rough start or at least a good start at um, um getting them back, kind of back to the stock settings yes even though if you take two exact duplexers they're not going to be exact um but like i said this should help you get it back in stock maybe someone turned the screw maybe uh, you know there's a lot of possible things that could happen but um, but uh, uh, hopefully this this will help you. Now this is like I said before. This is for the stock duplexer inside the Redivis RT97 GMRS two-way radio repeater, and the frequency that this one is tuned at. I don't know if you can see that or not. The low side is at 462.550. The high side is 467.5. Five zero, so, and the model number of this duplexer is SQ SGQ four five zero X. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna count the threads and all these screws, but we're gonna count from the top of the locking nut to the bottom of the screw head, and we're gonna get kind of fancy here. We're gonna throw this, and I'm gonna start this from the low side and we're going to work our way this way and then from the low side this way now i will post a link where you can download a picture um for this so that you don't have to watch all this and you can just get the picture if you wanted to for your reference now there's the edge of the duplexer we're going to go with the first screw which is right here and like I said, we're going to go right there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to count. Let me get my fancy little pen out here. We're going to count from the top of the locking nut to the bottom of the screw head. So let's count. One, two, three, four. Five. I'm going to say there's five threads there on that one. And again, like I say, we're going to be moving this from the start from the low side going across. Like I say, I'll post a link to a picture so that you'll have a picture to actually look at too. So let's go to the next one. And there's the next one. And we will get the pen out here. At least this way you can kind of see how I'm counting this. I'm going to say one, two, two threads. That's what I'm going to say. Now, of course, you know, the good thing about you seeing this is you can, you know, if you decide to, if you want to count. I don't see another thread unless you want to count this as a thread you can but this is how I'm counting it so let's go to the next one and this one we're gonna count one two three four Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to say five on my 32-inch monitor. That does look like that could be a, another. Th yeah, I'm going to say five there. So one, two, three, four, five threads on that one. This one. 
one, two, three, four. I'm going to say four on that one. Four threads. Again, from the, from the top of the locking nut to the bottom of the screw head. That's how I'm kind of going by it, just to kind of explain that. Right there. And that one looks like it's going to be one, two, three. I'm going to go with three on that one. So three threads. And last but least, there's a, a total of six screws on here. So we're going to go with one, two, three. We're going to go with three, yep, three threads here. So hopefully this will help you. Again, I'll post a link to a picture with the thread count number so you can see exactly how it's, how it's laid out. Um, I did, I just want to make this clear again, I did start from the low side and worked my way that way if you're wondering but that's um how i did that so at any rate hopefully this will help you if you have any questions or comments please post them down below please subscribe and thank you and have a good day